Hi everyone, it's Dr. Linda Kramer and it's Sunday, so you know what that means? It's Tarot Day! <laughs> Why the heck do I do that for? I don't know. But it's main. I, I guess, in all honesty, it's because the energy, you know, I don't just sit here, turn on the computer and start doing tarots, okay? I do this little, like, a 15-minute prep of, of what I do, okay? I'm going to explain it. I do my singing bowl. So I sit there doing my, oh, then I um, touch my crystals and I energize myself up there. And then I've got all my four packs here. So I've got my little dovey-dovey cards, my little lovey-dovey cards. I've got my normal tarot deck here. I've got the beautiful ones by... Louise Benton so I'll put that up there if anyone wants to go and buy a pack of her cards and I've also got my ruins here because I now do ruins okay so what I do is I put them all down in front of me on the table and I put my fingers so my fingers are touching all the cards and the stones so you know if this one's on the little deck then these ones will be on the bigger deck and then this one goes on to my tarot this one goes across and I, t and I overlap so I'm connecting to all four sets of tools that I use when I do tarot okay so I've done all that I've connected with the cards and the stones and now my energy is just oh gorgeous I'm gonna have a great day after this okay all right so today tarot let's go there I know she's already on because when I was just connecting to the stones and the cards she just came through so I know she's there all right, so mwah, 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 most gracious love and thanks to her for being here as usual. So today, I always put it up to her which cards she says stones. I actually heard when I was connecting with them, do the stones first today. So I'm going to do the stones first. So for anyone who doesn't know, I've got my ruins. They're all here in the um, little pouch. So the way that I do it, is I put my hand into the bag and I ask her to guide the stone that I want to have. So what I do is I put this, my hand in and I pick up all the stones and then I like shake until there's only one left because that's not my ego trying to just say, oh, pick that stone, okay? So the thought that we do every week is what is a message that the whole world needs for the next week. Now, let me just check the calendar because today is the 9th. So this is going to be tarot from the 9th of January until the 15th of January, okay? So today's the 9th for me here in Brisbane, Australia. So I'm asking her, please allow me to find a ruin that gives us a message Something we may be already doing, something we need in our lives, something to identify that we're not doing. So it can be a multitude of things that we need. Okay? So I put my hand in, just thinking of that. So I'll show you how I do it. I just put my hand in. Let me have just one stone that represents a message that the whole world needs for the next week. Now, as you can see, I'm looking at you. Oh, I've got a stone. It's stuck here in my finger. Look, there it is. It's that one. Alrighty. So I've got my tarot stone, uh, my ruin stone. So I'm going to put that away. Now she said go to the little cards. Okay, now my little cards are the little lovey-dovey ones. I love these with the little heart, with the little doves on them. Okay, so let's just shuffle. One card is what I'm asking for. This message that we all need for the next week. One card, please, that we all need for the next week. Okay. One, oh, and there it goes. Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. Oh, okay. Nice card that we got today. All right, now she's saying go to mine. So today we're going to do Louise Benton's last. Okay. All right, so I've got my deck here and I connected already with them. See, there's a lot of cards here. So I'll start shuffling these. Let's see what we get out today. Okay. One card that represents a message for the whole world for the next week. One card for the whole week, for the whole of everybody on the planet. Throw me out one card 
Oh, that was a few cards. I don't take it when there's a few. I always put them back in. Okay. Oh, and that's a few cards too. See, there's more than one, so I put them back in as well. Thank you. One card is all I... Oh, and there it goes. Oh, okay. So, put my cards over there. So I've got my one. I've got my stone. See, it's a little white one. This is... It's only... I think it's only like the only white one in the whole pack. And I've also got this one. This is the Knight of Wands. <whistles> okay. So now I'm going to take off this because this is Louise's like um, preview card. So if you do want to go over to her website, please pause the screen, go over and check out what she has got. This is the lovely Louise Benton. All the cards are her own design. She creates all these artworks. She also creates all the words on the back of the cards. Okay, so I've got Louise's deck here. Let's see if we get this card again, because it's given us to it's like three times now, hey? So, not that I'm saying give us a step, different one. If you want that one again, please do it. But we're looking for a message for the whole world for the next week. One card, please throw it out, that represents what the whole world needs for the next week. Now, you've also got to remember, when I say whole world, is that just humans? It could be animals. It could be tree life. It could be our natural resources. It could be our oceans or our corals. So we can't just say the message for the whole world is just humans, right? So this could be something for the whole um, living entities on the planet, okay? So let's just change that thought and just say, what does the humanoids need for the whole next week? Well, message that we can all incorporate into our lives. Um, something that we need to hear for the whole world next week. Well, there goes that one that we had the other week. Okay, come on, a new card for today, please. Okay, throw me out one card. Yeah, I want one card. I just heard her say, do you only want one card? And I was thinking, yeah, give me one card, please. Okay, one card is all I ask for for the whole of next week, for the whole of everybody, the all 8 million of us. Are we at 8 million yet? I think we're at 7.9 something. So we're nearly at 8 million people on the planet. Okay, let's go there. One card. Oh, okay. Something just happened in the energy in my hands. One card, please. I just felt that. It was like an electric shock came through. One card. Throw out one card. Okay, these can take a time, as you know, guys. All right. Oh, nearly had it. One card, please. One message for the whole world for the next week. One card, please. One card. It's all we need. Oh, there's a few there, so I don't take those. Okay. I usually only just take one. Okay. If I get more than one, I put them back in because it can be which card is it or do they represent two that you've got to look at together. So if they want me to have that card, they'll throw it again, right? One card that represents what the whole world needs for the next coming week. This could just take a few seconds, okay? Alrighty. So as you can see, I don't use any ego while I do this. I take my ego out of the equation. You know, our ego is our mind. Um, but I allow it through my brain, which is um, connecting to our subconsciousness. You know, I did a video on that yesterday. Um, if you want to go and see how to connect with your subconscious, okay? Because the best thing about it is that we start with when we're asleep because our ego is taken out of the equation because we can't think when we're asleep, right? So I hope that you like that video that I did just yesterday. Um, if you do want to share these to any of your friends or family, please go ahead. I do have a um, um, copyright thing on all my videos now because hello I have had trolls in the past they decided to video my videos and put them on their own site so they're monetizing my videos for themselves sweet isn't it so let's take that energy out and just go back to what I'm looking for here just one card that we all need for the whole world so I obviously don't mind if people want to share and say hey guys I've got this video from a friend of mine Linda come along and watch her okay you can do that okay it's only for the spammers etc you know it's like my my facebook group 
um, Dr. Linda Kramer Paranormal. I've now put questions on there as well to stop the spammers. So if you have tried to join and you don't answer the questions, hello, you get booted back out because we don't know if you're a robot or a spammer. Okay, so please know that I'm trying to keep up that integrity of my groups. All right. Okay. You know, we don't want nasty types at all, do we? No. Okay, so one card. Throw me out one card. One card represents what the whole world needs for the next week. One card, please. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Was that the one? No, she said put that one back in. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'll just keep on going. I can talk under wet cement too, by the way, guys. You know, there's no um, blank... What do they call it? Um, dead air or something? You know, I'd never be... I'd be good on radio because i just talk about anything. And if you watch me and Mike on a Wednesday night in Brisbane, um, we're on Facebook at Medium Mike Cavalli. You know, Mike sometimes says to me, Hey, Linda, I've just got to go off. Um, can you just talk? <laughs> I can talk. <laughs> okay. It's one of my... Gift of the gabs is one of my good abilities. I can just talk through under wet cement. Okay. Come on, one card that represents what the whole world needs. You gave me the other three really fast. Why are you delaying with this one today? Okay, and you wonder why. You, know, I'm sitting here now thinking, wonder why she made me want to do these ones last. Hello, imagine if these were the first ones. Okay, come on, one card is all I want. One card, throw it out, throw it out. One card, one card, one card, one card. Thank you so much. Okay. I love, love, love that she's always with me. She's um, actually smiling at me right now. She's got this high-pitched giggle that I hear. Um, it sounds like about three foot away from me. So if you, you know, if you stand next to a person and you listen to their voice, you know, close your eyes so you listen to their voice, you, your ears like prick to the where they're coming from. That's what it is with her. Um, so my ears do prick when she's around. Throw me out one card of message for the next week for the whole of the planet, please. There's that one that was nearly going to throw it out before. I wonder if that's the one that I'm supposed to take. And guess what? We got it. And guess what also? That's the card. Oh. <clears throat> Isn't these artworks gorgeous? So now that I've got my four cards... Let's just pause and I'll take all the other decks away. So the first thing, let me go to my ruin because I got the ruin first. So I like going to my ruin set. Now the stone that we have is, what's that one there? Okay. It's a water. It represents water. Now some of these symbols can look nearly the same, so I'll just make sure there's nothing else. So that's what it looks like, guys. And here it is in my book. So I like to show that I found it. So there it is there. Whoops. So it's this one here. Okay. Okay. So this is the water ruin. Let me just fold this in a little bit so I can read it. Signal to take a chance. And follow your intuition rather than doing what is rational or logical. Interesting. So this is actually the water stone that means travel and making new discoveries. The symbol of adventure, a world into the unknown, and it's also a leap of faith. Now isn't that funny? A time to create something new or to take an emotional risk. A good omen for tracking major changes, lifestyle, career, and also relationships. So this is a sign that's virtually saying, start again. You know, we listen to like um, words from the Bible, etc. And they talk about a door closes and there's a window that opens somewhere, correct? So... This is what's coming for this week just with this ruin stone and I'll just show you his little artwork again if you do want to go and Google what he looks like. So then I've got this little one. Love would think positive thoughts. 
How appropriate for what I just read with the waters. This is actually the water stone, the ruin of water. So, you know, you think of water. Does water ever stay constant? No. You know, we drink water, it sustains us, it's our sustenance, it's our security, it's our nurturing, it's our life force, right? Without water, we pass away, okay? Like water also collects in ocean streams, rivers, dams, etc. But you never just see that one individual drop because it's a collective. When water joins with another drop of water, they become one. So this is a message for this week, guys. When we're faced with things going wrong in our lives, you know, people are losing their jobs, people are losing family and friends, people are um, seeing through the lies and the deceit from authority, etc. What happens is then we start changing our belief systems and we start having to rely on other forces that we would never have trusted before, okay? We start think, seeing things differently, okay? And that's what water does. If you imagine water coming down from the sky, ah, falling, 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 then it splats on the ground, but it then joins other life, um, other water droplets, and it becomes a little stream of water. It creates a river, and it goes out into an ocean. So think of this transformation that we're all going through this week, guys, okay? Because love would think positive thoughts. This is imperative because the more positive we are, the more we're creating good things in our future. How often do I say that, okay? So now we go over to the Knight of Wands. I love my deck of cards. Look how red it is in this, the Knight of Wands. You know, how matchy, matchy is this card from my room today? <laughs> Everything's red. Okay, so let's have a look at the Knight of Wands. Wow. Knight of Wands. Let me just find it here in my book. All right, Major Ancanas, uh, Swords, Cups, Knight of Wands. Okay. So... So what happens here? The Knight of Wands almost always shows when someone is about to change residence. It may also signify a long journey being taken. Hello! Didn't I just say that with this ruin? New adventures coming? Let me just go back over into my ruin set to confirm it. Oh my god. Um... Where are we? New, um, a time to try something new or take an, an emotional risk. Um, a good omen for tackling new major changes. Wow. Um, this is used by the Nordics to, for people to travel and make new discoveries. A symbol of adventure, a journey into the unknown, a leap of faith. I've only just said that. And here's this card saying... That it's a virtually it's a leap of faith. May also signify a long journey being taken. Now, don't always think this is physical, guys. You know, they're not saying, oh, you're going to move country or go to a new planet. <laughs> it could be a new emotional journey, a spiritual journey. It could represent a change of heart. It could represent seeing those true colours that I've been talking about for a couple of weeks now because everyone's eyes are waking up, okay? The energy this night represents tends to make clients feel that they must act quickly as it is a high level of creative energy, but they must not. In their haste, they forget to check all the details first. So the Knight of Wands is actually confirming the other two cards that I've already pulled. But what it's saying is to use common sense. Use that intuition of the water sign. You know, I'm a Pisces, so I'm a water sign. So, you know, you think of water and how when it's stagnant, it stands still and it gets all mold and green algae is forming in it. So water always wants to be flowing anyway, correct? 
that's a trait of being Pisces. We like adventure. We're stim st um, um, spontaneous and we like change all the time. Okay. But for a message for all of us on the world this week, it's saying that there are changes occurring. But use your intuition rather than the physical, um, materialistic, three-dimensional world of what we're doing now. Okay. I've always said that this has been a spiritual war. May, I'm um, sorry, in about April 2020, I made a Facebook post. It was just after COVID is what I call it. It was just after that. And I actually said on Facebook, wouldn't this be funny if the reason why they want us into isolation, separation, masks, etc., was not about a virus, but it was to separate us so our auras, our energy fields weren't connecting to create mental health. Now, I made that two years ago, nearly two years ago. And look how true those words now ring out. So that was a very good prophecy that I made in March 2020. So now let's go over to, oh my God, this card. Are you ready? I love the artwork, first of all, by Louise Benton. It's the creation card. How amazing is it when the Knight of Wands is telling us that we've got new adventures to take to lose use logic rather than emotion. We've got love would think positive thoughts where we're creating our future positively. And then we've also got the water sign saying new adventures and new things coming, being created. I love my tarot. You know, I did a video the other day because I got a comment from somebody and they said, why do I use all these tools? I don't need the tools personally, okay? I trust her so impeccably. But other people don't see her, so they don't have that trust and that belief. So they want these tools as a confirmation, okay? So let me read the creation card and let's see how true it is to this one and this one and this one okay creation cosmic ocean water cosmic ocean swirling forms from the spiral worlds are born vast expanse of magic clusters we think what we create right across endless waveform structures Expanding out eternally, creation unfolds itself through thee. For, um, fear subsides on love's flood tide. So stop fearing, guys, and create all your happy thoughts this week. Ocean of infinity, no beginning or end. You will always be. Our souls are eternal, guys. This life form... The Linda life, she will die. But my soul, I'm going back to heaven because I've already been there once, remember? I am a divine expression of creation. I'll put the words up if you do want to pause the screen and have a read. Oh my God. So now that we've got the four together, one, two, yep, three, four. Now that we've got the four together, what is the message that we can collectively acquire from these three cards and the stone? One, things are changing. It's inevitable. This is what they're saying. Things are changing. If we stay positive, positive thoughts, things are going to come good for us. So stop thinking about lockdown. Stop thinking about the isolation. Stop thinking about... No vacuum isolation. It will all turn out good because I'm putting out that it will to everybody. Okay? It will be good. Okay? The Knight of Wands says that we're all going on this journey. And look, he's solo. It's not a collective. We're all doing these separately. But remember, the water represents that each drop of water does connect into that ocean. Okay? my goodness so there are things happening this week things are changing you know maybe your 
job, it may be your house, it may be your car, it may be the way you do your hair, it could be anything, okay? Changes are coming, but stay positive, think your happy thoughts and all will be good, okay? If you've liked today's tarot, please comment below. If this rings true to you, please comment below and like this video. Send it over to your friends and say, wow, you know, you're moving house. How funny is it that she just got all these cards saying that it's all going to go well for you. Okay? Just remember, they are always watching us. The ones who trust, believe and accept them for who they are and acknowledge that we're working on their side. And we are the ones who are saying that we are on that horse fighting that positivity battle. We're getting looked after. Okay? We are getting looked after from them and her. So on that note, guys, I hope that you all have a great day. Talk to you again next week. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.